Hail, and welcome to one more session of questions and answers, where you give me questions and I'll give you answers. Dan, what kind of conditioner do you use for your hair? The blood of curious people. What was the happiest day of your life? I don't know, I never thought about that. You know what? The happiest day of my life is tomorrow. And then tomorrow, it will be the day after. That is for two reasons. Number one, happiness for me is constantly striving to be better. Constantly striving to build something. Always running after something else. And number B, happiness is not the main motivator of my life. Happiness is a feeling. Placing the core of your existence on top of a feeling. Like building the foundations of your house upon sand eventually will crumble. It's much better to center the core of your existence on top of meaning. Aiming to live a meaningful life is much better than aiming to live a happy life. Happiness won't sustain you when your father gets cancer or your mother Alzheimer's disease. Meaningfulness will. Okay, I might have over answered a very simple question. What will you do if you lose your voice forever? That's a very cool question. I guess I would work hard to become good at something else. Well, there are two main scenarios that I get from this question there. You mean I won't be able to sing anymore? Or you mean I wouldn't be able to speak as well? Because if I was just not able to sing, I would start a channel and on something else and still get to 1 million subscribers. Singing or not, that is no factor. Probably a channel about retro gaming would be cool. Now, if I wasn't able to speak as well, that would be more tricky. I would probably learn some instrument or have to come up with some concept that would allow me to make content without speaking and still be engaging. That would be an interesting challenge. But the first thing that comes to my mind, yeah, I will learn an instrument and then work as hard as I did with my voice on it. As you guys know, I don't believe in talent, I believe in skill, and skill is learnable. When are you coming to Brazil? Right after I leave it. Where does your positive thinking come from? And what inspired the lyrics for the Chronicles of Ancient Wisdom album. Well, I don't consider myself too much of a positive person. I consider myself realistic and an empirical person. The reason I think the way I think and I say the things I say, it's because they're real. It's reality. One day someone told me that complaining doesn't help and actually using that energy you use to complain, you use that to actually solve the problems that you're complaining about. It works. And I believed the person that told me that and started to act accordingly. And then things started to happen in my life. Now about the Chronicles of Ancient Wisdom lyrics, those were inspired in Judeo-Christian mythology and culture. Plus a little bit of fantasy of our own that we put in there. Will there be a new album from Fearless? Ye yes! What are your thoughts on tattoos? I don't care too much about it. I wouldn't make one, I guess there's no drawing or image or saying that I like that much to the point of having it forever engraved on my body. I prefer my design clean. But yeah, some people love tattoos and that's great. Some pretty cool stuff regarding tattoos out there. Is the Dan's law stronger than Murphy's law? What kind of silly question is that? Of course, the Dan's law is stronger than any law. What color are your eyes? Sometimes they seem brown, then green, then hazel, and sometimes even gray. Yeah, my eyes are weird. The thing about my eyes is that most people think they're brown. But actually, under some lights, they turn green. And that's because there are actually two colors. And you can only notice if you come really, really creepingly close to me. How are the doggos doing? They're doing great, thank you for asking. I'll send them your regards. Do you have a favorite video game soundtrack? I have many favorite video game soundtracks and I change my mind about that all the time, but right now what comes to mind is the Donkey Kong Country games for the Super Nintendo. How have you been coping in the sudden rise in success or fame? Sudden rise? This rise has been taking me 10 years, it's anything but sudden. I have plenty of time to prepare. And it's not like I didn't plan it or plan for it. So all the things that happened 
for me. I was not only prepared, but I was expecting it. But you're flattering me here. I still have a long way to go. What is your favorite Blind Guardian album, Dan? Whoa, tough one. I gotta say Nightfall in Middle Earth. This is the man. What is your favorite activity besides music and gaming related things? Well, I like studying about leadership, human nature, philosophy, psychology, but I also enjoy a lot. How can I, how can I call this? Men house chores. I like fixing stuff, computers, electricity, carpentry. I enjoy that. What's your favorite game? Well, that would be the Metal Gear Solid series. Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PS1 and Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 for the PS2. Best games ever made. The first three, that is. Hope I appear in your Q&A just to show this to my BF. Hello, Alexandra's BF. Do you like pineapple on pizza? I'm gonna call Davey504 and tell him to call the police. Alexander the Great Iron Maiden! What's something you've always wanted to do but haven't done yet? To own a million dollars. Have you ever had your heart broken? Well, in order to have your heart broken, you need to have one. I'm... <laughs> Me too! All right, guys, I'm thinking of making this Q&A thing an ongoing series or something. Would you like that? Leave me your questions in the comments of this video. Meanwhile, here's some cool music videos for you to watch.